Hi friends, happy Easter. Today I'm in Washington DC at a place called the Franciscan Monastery. It's a fully functioning, fully operational monastery, but it has one of the most beautiful churches in the country. And I just wanna show you a few of the things that, that are here. It, it's one of my family's favorite places and we come here every year, um, you know, regardless of denomination. It's a beautiful place to see examples of, um, uh, it's called the Commissariate to the Holy Land. So it shows, uh, you know, examples of things that uh, are in Jerusalem uh, and in Rome. So first, let me give you kind of a spinning picture of a few things. And why I tell you more about it this Easter Sunday, I want to show you a few uh, particularly special items they have here. So it was built in the late 1800s, uh, early 1900s. Um, uh, you know, obviously the instances of people going into religious vocation, uh, Franciscans go, uh, you know, vows of poverty, obedience, and celibacy. You don't see that too often anymore, uh, but their life is dedicated to prayer. This place does a lot with, um, you know, exchange with the Holy Land. Look at this art behind me. It's a full 3D scene of the crucifixion. Now I know many of the people on my channel would be concerned about idolatry, uh, and obviously rightly so. Get a look at the view behind me. That across the way there, uh, that little gold thing with the hole, I'll show you in a minute, is an example of the tomb of Christ, and it is the exact distance from the cross up here to the tomb down there as it is in Jerusalem. So that's pretty neat. I first uh, was turned on to this place in my late teens and early 20s. I was a union electrician and uh, got to run the demolition phase. We redid the monks' living quarters. So I met a lot of them, became very close friends with them. Um, you know, so they, uh, they do services here uh, on Sunday like any normal church does. Check out this uh, altar here in the middle. Look at the ceiling. It's like... Each part of the church has, uh, you know, altars to different things and, uh, you know, different figures in uh, church history and throughout time. Uh, this one here is to the Blessed Mother. The one over here that I'm about to take you to uh, represents the call of, um, of St. Francis. They have one over here to um, uh, St. I think this one's Joseph maybe? Yeah, uh, St. Joseph or Anthony, I can't quite remember. there. Now let me take you inside what is modeled after the tomb of Jesus Christ. If you look behind me here, you'll see on the ground a tomb. And now we're going inside this grotto. Here we are. It's done with flowers for, the, uh, for Easter. And as you notice, we can go into the very back here. So here we go. Yeah, going right on in. And here, my friends, represents the very slab of stone where Jesus might have laid. You know, as I embarked on the journey of writing, just tell me the truth about Christianity. I feel like I took ownership of a lot of Christian history that Protestants felt like was lost to the Catholics, and that's just not true. Remember, the Reformation took place in the, uh, you know, uh, 
late 15th, early 16th century and through the present, well, there's 1,500 years of church history that belongs to all of us. All of this beautiful art. You know, in, in this monastery, for example, we find examples of Byzantine art. We see influence from literally everywhere in the world. Now, look at this uh, beautiful example of the resurrection from up above. Look. Now, friends, I would like to go up here. The stairs are usually never uh, open to the public, so I guess being Easter, we're going to get a rare treat here. This is the transfiguration in the Bible. I said resurrection a second ago, and I was wrong. This represents the transfiguration. Uh, look at it. Since I work here, I worked here, I happen to know that behind that stained glass is a library with many ancient manuscripts. And look over there. You see the pipes, the organ, huge organ here that can be heard all through Washington, D.C. Look, more files over there, see? Yeah, beautiful place. Now let me give you a panorama from here. beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so I think one of the things I hope that readers of my book Just Tell Me the Truth About Christianity get is, you know, Protestants, especially fundamentals, you know, we eat this fear, you know, I can't appreciate this art. Oh, it's idolatry, you know. Oh, I can't claim uh, ownership of any of this because it's Catholic. Well, that's not entirely true, as I tried to tell you a minute ago. You know, 1,500 years of the church belongs to all of us. We have, you know, we have every right to come in here and appreciate our faith and appreciate the art that's been done over the centuries uh, regarding our faith. If you ever get a chance to come here, I highly recommend it. Now, I'm going to stop the video here to keep it short, but I'm going to shoot a separate video that I'll upload uh, after this one to give you a tour of the underground. They have a complete uh, real-life mock-up of the Roman catacombs, and it is awesome. They've got mummies down there and different... Um, you know, uh, uh, spots where people were buried and everything. Um, so I'm going to put a link in the description to the monastery so you can learn about it. And I'll do at least one more video representing that. And if I do a second one, it'll be the gardens outside because they're really pretty. Happy Easter. Thank you for subscribing. Love all of you. Bye.